Hello everyone, this is John with Ziptopia.org. Today we are going to install Asterisk Now on Oracle VirtualBox. As you can see, I already downloaded the ISO file that I'm going to work on, and I already have the VirtualBox installed. Now, if you are not familiar with VirtualBox, please go and watch our Kali installation tutorial in which we covered Oracle VirtualBox installation. So let's go to asterisknow.org on the left, select downloads, asterisk now, and uh, let's find out what asterisk now is. So asterisk now is a complete Linux distribution with asterisk, meaning you don't have to install Linux and then asterisk. And it comes with a graphical user interface, which makes things a lot easier. So you click on this uh, link and add name, last name, email, company, and country. Click on download. It will download the respective ISO file to the destination folder. Now let's go to VirtualBox. We need to click on new. Let's name this asterisk now. It's a Linux and Debian. Now you can change memory size, but I'll just leave it as default. We are going to create a virtual hard drive. So you can use different uh, extensions here if you are going to work with other, uh, other applications, but I'm just going to go with this because VirtualBox is the only one that I'm going to use. So you can also use fixed or dynamic uh, allocation. If you are going to have multiple virtual machines, you may want to go with dynamical allocated. So let's select the maximum size. Again, this is not the size it creates right away. It's just your upper limit. So let's click on settings and see uh, what else we need to change. In the system, remove the floppy. You don't have that. Now, these two are important to enable and also enable 3D acceleration storage. Now, as you can see, we need to, we have the virtual drive, but not, not anything installed. So let's click on this and point to the ISO file that we are going to use as a virtual DVD, virtual CD to boot from. Network is very important, but let's go through the others just to see them. Now let's go back to network. So this is, in my opinion, one of the most important uh, uh, screens. Uh, if you leave it as it is, uh, you will be able to access internet. But I always suggest using bridged adapter. It's it's a it's a fast and easy solution uh, in which you can talk to the host as well as other uh, machines. Now, when you use that bridged adapter, you will get an IP address similar to uh, the host and not this 56.1. It's going to be 192.168.1.6. Uh, similar to 1.6 in that subnet. So let's hit OK. And let's start the uh, virtual disk. <coughs> so we are basically booting from the CD. Well, this is a virtual machine. We don't need RAID. We don't need HA. So let's just go with uh, full install RAID. So 
So now it's going to take a few minutes to get to a point where we can uh, fast forward a little. I do not want to fast forward it here because there are some screens that we will be uh, looking into. I do not want to pass those for example here. Uh, I, I will just leave as it is by default and there's a few things that you will need to change otherwise you can keep the default settings as they are. Alright, so select your time zone. Uh, let's go with well, let's go with Chicago. Alright. The root password again and hit OK. Once again it's going to take a few minutes to go through some of the steps once again i do not want to skip these because there will be certain points where we need to make some changes or at least things that we should be discussing uh, in this video Well, all right, now this is the part that will take just too long, so we can definitely uh, fast forward this a bit. Let's go uh, into the future. So while we are going into the future the installation is done all right it's rebooting the system all right our pbx is uh, ready to boot up One thing to note, uh, we are going to use a graphical user interface. So Asterisk now is not only uh, a complete uh, package uh, with its own Linux distribution, it also has the, it also has the uh, graphical user interface from FreePBX. So let's uh, log in with our root login and password. And take a look at the IP address 192.168.1.3. So if you go to that IP address now, we should see a prompt and FYI, the default password for administration is uh, username admin, password admin. So type admin as the password admin, confirm password admin, just put an uh, email address and create account. Once you do this, uh, it's going to take you to the uh, screen where you will be able to configure the rest of your environment. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to request other tutorials, please let us know. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.